Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the show that's all about con artists parroting puppet playboy scum on top. It's the Vinnie Eastwood show. It's the lighter side of genocide, because in a world so full of chaos and madness, if you lose your sense of humour, you'll go freaking nuts. It's the show that goes where others fear to tread, where we talk about those things that everybody knows about, allegedly knows about, the things that will scare the living um, uh, William Shatner out of you, and also some very, very weird and spooky, strange things indeed that you may not even believe had you not looked at the evidence yourself. Today... A very special guest, indeed. I think he sounds like he's got a Canadian accent of some kind. It's Donald Marshall. Welcome to the program. Hello. Thanks. Why don't you tell us just a little bit of background about yourself for those who are unaware? Well, have you got um, a website of some kind? Just the Facebook. Oh, I have a, a site about uh, these lizards, uh, Vril lizards. I think Vril lizards. Uh, at webs dot dot coms, it's um, it's about those um, reptilian shapeshifters that David Ike, Ike talks about. He's he's, he's kind of got the story wrong. They're not dimensional at all. At all. They're this dimension, and um, yeah, they're not spiritual, mystical, or anything. It's pretty sick. But I'll tell you about that in a second. First, I wanted to tell you about the cloning stuff. Okay, now human cloning. I have to tell you, it's been done since at the end of World War II, okay? Um, I'll tell you how they got it, and uh, the whole shebang, like 33rd degree Freemason knowledge, I'm probably going to die for this, somewhere along the lines. Um, it's not good. <laughs> um, okay, picture this, I'm memory memor repressed about everything, couldn't remember anything, I'm still getting uh, side effects from this. Um, about uh, as memory repressed about the cloning stuff until I was 30 years old. They call it the awakening when they give you back the memories. Turns out they had me there since I was five years old. Okay, and uh, my family is there, my family members and everything. And uh, they said uh, they're not going to lie on a lie detector test about it. It's it's pretty big. Like they were going to kill me. They said. Uh, thing is, the way that this cloning works. Okay. There's two different kinds of cloning, and it, confu it, conf blah, blah, it confuses people. Now, there's uh, replication cloning, where it comes up as a baby, right? Put the cells in, make the same person as a baby. Well, there's duplication cloning as well, where they grow you in a big, thick tank fill full of water. And, well, there's a few different grades of cloning. There's Mark 1 to 4 that I know of. And the problem I'm having is with the Mark 2 thing is mark one was around at the end of the, the world war ii but it was a primitive clone lots of side effects is that a reference to yeah. merck pharmaceuticals uh i don't know okay uh, anyway uh this is even on the net i before i started blasting on the net about this uh somebody said something about the mark one to four clones and the first one being called the organic robotoid and uh, that's what it was called, even though there's no robotic parts in it at all. Anyway, uh, Mark II is an REM-driven clone, okay? Now, what that means is when you go to sleep, the Illuminati, this is their main form of, of communication, too. They don't call people on the phone. They don't meet at the Bohemian Grove anymore. Since they got cloning, they meet at the cloning station when they go to sleep. Each of them, I don't know how they do it exactly, okay, or else I'd know how to block it. But they can, uh, they can transfer your consciousness into a clone at the cloning station if they have a clone of you. And they used to have to use a tissue sample from, from you or uh, I guess they said uh, the cells from a woman's pap smear is like really rich in the cells to, to make one of these duplicate clones. Um, they used to use kids' foreskins that were discarded at the hospital that got removed. That's what happened to me. Um, but now they said they've uh, upgraded the technology in the last 10 years, so now they only need blood. What they used to do with the tissue, <clears throat> well, they could also, uh, they used to set this little oil drill looking thing over a person's forearm, strap their arm to a chair. And the, this drill, it had things on it that opened up, right? Now it would go in, and when it spun, uh, these things would open up. But then when it stopped, the thing was closed. The things would close again. Now this is done. It goes in, comes out, in, comes out. And what what it was doing, it uh, 
it has to agitate the tissue they told me when i was a kid uh to a certain degree i guess like they said the easiest way to tell a person in layman's terms about it is you know when you have a hangnail and you pull it off and the white stuff that accumulates inside and eventually it'll form like a scab and new skin and it'll grow over well to get that white stuff to really work good they agitate the tissue a certain amount of times now they just agitate blood from like a blood sample even and uh yeah, cloning is uh, very prevalent. It's like a secret thing among the like elite. They use it for their crazy stuff. You name it, they've done it. Like jump off of cliffs, everything. Um, I know all about it. The thing was, when I was memory repressed, I was seeing other people becoming unmemory repressed, and I hated this place and these people. It's a bunch of scumbags doing nasty things to each other, right? Like uh, there's privileged ones there, and there's underprivileged ones there, and so people are pretty mean on people, and, uh, well, I wanted them to, to do the awakening on me so I could go to the cops and get the cops on them. Well, the thing is, they are the cops, too. Like, this is the lynch, the linchpin in how the Illuminati NWO works, because, like, most of the leaders from the G20 countries go there, about 14 of the G20 countries, and then there's leaders from countries that don't even fit in the g20 that go there too right and uh cloning it's it's really normal well britney spears made a video about this place because the thing was to get advertised and promoted and stuff she had to basically sell her clone uh use of her clone at the cloning center so the thing was she signed up right away thinking yeah sure i'll be famous famous well thing is um they wanted to use her every night old men and stuff old men and clones on her and real people on her clones too so she doesn't have dreams anymore oh they make songs and stuff about this all the time about stuck in the dreams and freddy nightmare on elm street is based on this avatar is based on this too um they do it all the time communicate this way but the thing is uh clones is a, cloning is a flawed technology this way because uh your mind isn't the same you're more it's kind of like, um, you know, how, did you ever see Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, the movie? Yeah. Where they bury it and they come back whack? Well, they're almost as bad as that. And uh, this is only one aspect of what they do. This is like, this is the, the biggest expose on the Illuminati guys ever, what they do, secret, secret, right? Because the, the thing being, how I know is because I acted very loyal to them when in my 20s right uh well the thing was if you don't act compliant there they will beat the hell out of your clone and it hurts just like real life right like this and they can turn it up to the the pain threshold on a remote control they have everything down and uh people are scared to talk about this because of the lizard aspect and the fact they can just keep cloning you and torturing you and torturing you and torturing you new body new body new body because they make multiples of people uh some people are grown in the tank with deformities and they just scrap those ones throw them in the chipper but uh the other ones they they keep them for backup bodies until they wear out the first one uh sex wise uh, you know not trying to be vulgar or anything but they do a lot of vulgar stuff there um they can also, if they apply a, perm, a, a constant electronic current to your clone, you will have an aneurysm. Uh, if you're younger, it'll, it'll take a little bit longer with the electric current, but um, <clears throat> you will have an aneurysm. That's what happened to Tila Tequila. She doesn't want to say that, though. The thing is, uh, Tila Tequila was threatened not to talk about it. She was helping me for a minute. Are you uh, familiar with Tila Tequila? I've had her on the show, and in fact, I was just discussing her this morning um, with uh, J James you. Wright, who's exposing the Freemasons, and um, he said that he wanted to meet up with her and compare war stories and stuff like that, so I just introduced them this morning, as it turns out. Well, Tila has a clone running at the clone center, and she has to, well, she pretty much sold it out for her uh, shot at love thing. She doesn't want me to discuss the nefarious deeds that she's done at the cloning station, including to me, and... Um, well, and I'm not really going to because that's her business and all right, but, but uh, well, I might discuss the stuff she did to me at a later date, a different show or something. It doesn't really matter right now. I'm trying to stick to the important stuff. 
but uh, she's there. And she's making like hinty little posts about her. Uh, she bounces to the fifth dimension. She used to think it was the fifth dimension. Should they tell people this, right? Because you open up your eyes there. You're like, where the hell am I? And you look at your hands. You're like, did you guys kidnap me? That's what most people say. Did, am I kidnapped or something? How did I get here? Some people are drugged, so they think that it's a dream or they're in the astral dement or astral realm. That's what they tell people, right? The spirit realm depends on who you are, where you're from. That's what they tell you. And people just believe it because it's like real, right? Slap them in the face, it hurts, and you don't wake up, so it's not a dream, and man, it's not good. So anyway, there, I wanted to uh, not attend these clone gatherings, and uh, they were like, we'll bring you here if we want to. I was like, all right, well, I'll tell all on you. And I'm doing it on my Facebook page. I don't have the link up here, but I, you're on my Facebook page somewhere, I think. So uh, I don't know if you have the link to show people or not, but... Uh, yeah, I'm telling all about them, what they do there, and um, there's other stuff. Now, uh, they have these clone parties, okay? That's, oh, and also they get, I'll just tell you flat out, because they showed me, they call it the catalog. They get the school pictures from schools all over North America, and they look at the cutest ones, and they get the medical stuff from them and clone them and use them for sex slaves uh not with the without the parents permission and it doesn't really matter if they had permission or not right you know but uh this is what they do i'm just telling you the severity of what they do there right like i trust me i am not a crackpot <laughs> like uh, and i don't get anything from this i'm not writing a book or looking to write a book i'm looking to crush these people but the, the problem is they're the richest and most powerful people in the world, and I'm just one person, right? So you said, going all, you said that they've got a facility. Do, do you know where that facility is? Is there an address yes. or a building? Or? Yes. The uh, Well, they're uh, in deep bases, right? Like uh, there's a Dulce or a Dulce base. It has an entire floor devoted to cloning, okay? Now, it, has, it also has another floor devoted to gene splicing. You should see some of the stuff I've seen. I mean, beaver, rats, and all kinds of stuff. They're trying to make weapons for war, and they showed me everything. They thought I was loyal. They started showing me everything. They, to they totally thought I was loyal. Like, uh, oh, my, my ex-family will not speak to me now. Uh, I said, I'm going to expose this. You guys are going to help me. And they said, we're not going to help you. We'll get killed right along with you. And I said, well, I want to do it alone. And I, they said, don't ask us for help. And I said, I'm sending people to you with uh, lie detector tests. So lie on it and go to jail. And uh, then they're looking around as clones saying, we don't want to lie on a lie detector test, right? And I said, well, I'm welcoming all lie detector tests. And we're, we're going to lie it up. Or, or we're going to line it up, the, these lie detector tests. And it's going to get, everything's going to get proven. So have you, now, taken, is, have you taken a lie detector test yet? Uh, not, not yet. No, uh, I haven't had one available. But uh, the thing is, it's uh, so widespread. This uh, the corruption stuff. It's even bigger than what you truthers think that it is. It's uh, they have um, police and uh, doctors and everything there, loyal, so that they can uh, have clone sex with like a Britney Spears or an Angelica jo Jolie or something, and while they're sleeping because they're like what are we doing when we're sleeping it's a big waste of time we can go there and have lots of fun so uh but it's it's a terrible diabolical nefarious place i've seen all kinds of stuff oh the picton murders up in canada where with that guy that killed all the hookers um that was set up by them they videotaped all the murders they used to clone picton into the place and had him running around talking to him and he felt like he was like a, a celebrity, right? Um, anyway, he used to smash them with a ball peen hammer. Now, I'll tell you who was there. And this is how I know everything, okay? When I was five, they brought me there to be used as what they call a diddle kid, okay? But uh, all I'd do was cry and stuff. So they said, do you have any other kind of use? Do you sing or dance or something? So anyway, when I was five, to keep them off me, I started singing like original songs there, uh, just right out of the blue. Turns out the first one people liked it and they had a famous person use it and then they came back for more and I made more and other people came back wanting to hear more. It was just a kid that was making these songs, right? For free, because they never paid me. 
nobody knew, right? Totally foolproof. So anyway, uh, lots of people, famous, high-profile people went there. I'm kind of apprehensive to say even, well, the people that know me know who I'm talking about, but they're the, the highest profile people go to these cloning centers and they wanted to see this kid that was making these songs. Right? So I met the highest up people. And then they wanted to show me all the stuff that they had to impress me. Are you going to commercial? We are. Donald right. Marshall is my guest, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be right back after the break at the VinnieEastwoodShow.com. Back in just a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Vinnie Eastwood Show on AmericanFreedomRadio.com five days a week. My guest today is Donald Marshall talking about the Illuminati cloning programs. Now, is there anybody else who's turned whistleblower like you have to come out and talk about these programs? Uh, well, Tila Tequila started to come out and talk about them. She went on her radio blog show. She said, in the cloning centers and the things you guys do to children. But the thing is... Uh, well, they told her at the cloning center not to do it, not to help me, because they're uh, they're trying to play me off as a, a joke that people will uh, spoof it or uh, make fun and say, oh, they're cloning people. Uh, they don't have that technology yet. Well, they really do. And uh, the thing was, they threatened her after that radio show to uh, discredit herself immensely or else uh, she'll suffer repercussions at the cloning center. And... Um, she was pretty scared there, so then she starts talking about she's quantum hopping and going to different dimensions and this and that. Well, the thing was, back when she didn't know that she was a clone, she thought she was going to the fifth dimension. This is what they told her, okay? Now, she before her aneurysm, which was caused by them, I'll tell you right now all about it. You won't hear this from anybody else because they're all scared of dying, but they're not going to kill me because I'll tell you why later, and it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Anyways, um... She goes on her a video somewhere and says, somebody helped me. They're blasting me to the fifth dimension somehow, and uh, Queen Elizabeth is there, and she eats people. No, she said the Queen of England is there, and she eats people. And there's lizards there. No, she said demons. Well, some people call them demons. They call themselves demons, too. Well, then there's demons there, and they listen to her. Well, nobody listened to her, and they gave her her aneurysm there. Well, the thing is... They could have made her die if they wanted to. Uh, they just keep the electricity to the clone. Um, they could do it to me, like, at any time. Um, but I told too many people, and they're all waiting to see if I have an aneurysm now. Or a heart attack, which it can happen to you. They've done this to so many people. It's remote-controlled execution, like assassination, that's undetectable, right? As long as they have a clone of you, they can kill you, like a bang. And uh, they killed Bernie Mac this way with an aneurysm. Um, it's not good. Uh, they don't only have to do the electricity. If they keep a constant pain on the clone, like hard enough, like it'll kill you. But intermittent pain will mess up your heart bed. That's what they've done to me. They tortured me there for like a like a, a torture spectacle, right? Um, if you look, I should have had it on my miniature tablet here. But I forgot to. Um, my Facebook profile picture. Okay, just look at it. And you're gonna get. You're gonna say, okay. Something weird is happening here. Um, I'm on a Megadeth album cover, all cut up. It's like a, a picture of a clone of me, um, all messed up with a skeleton coming out of my chest and Megadeth up at the top. Well, anyway, it's a close-up of my face. And uh, people look at that and they say, okay, now i got to look into this. And trust me, I'm telling you the biggest secrets of the Holy Illuminati. Holy cow, it is your face. Yeah, it is, kind of, yeah. Not kind of at all, it is me. I was asking, well, I'll just tell you, Queen Elizabeth got really interested in this magic kid that could uh, make these songs out of thin air. So she had me serenading her because she thinks she's really special. She's pretty insane, by the way, by five different ways. Um, she rules this cloning station, basically. Her and Vladimir Putin, um, all of them are there. Muammar Gaddafi was there. He's not actually dead, by the way. That was a clone of them, him that died. And all the people around him jostling the camera, the video, the, the phone video. Um, they were all in on it. He's not dead. That was a clone that they killed. Um, that's why they buried his body in a remote location nobody will ever find because it's a clone. And, uh, the cells are different and stuff, I guess. Like these, they're grown in five months in a, a big glass tank full of uh, like salty water, and um, just takes five months. And it's no cost at all. It's basically uh, maintenance. They just got to get tissue from me. Now Britney Spears put in her video. 
she said a fantasy of hers was to blow up a cloning station so they couldn't make any more hers, right? So uh, for this video called Break the Ice, she made a Japanimation video of her breaking into a cloning station and breaking the clone tubes. And they look just like that, right? And uh, two on two, like one on top of each other. They have warehouses underground with them growing people, right? And, oh, man, it's very heavy. There's another aspect to this. It's the lizard part. Now, I'll tell you the straight skinny on the lizards, okay? Um, now I got to tell you about Tila now. Tila first, because, well, she was on my wall. And, and <laughs> I was like, you're going to help me with this, and... Uh, then she goes on radio, the cloning centers, terrible what you do with the people there, and people don't want to go there, and, and then after that, everything changed, because that night when she went to sleep, <laughs> won't say Freddy got her, but pretty much the world leaders put the scare of death into her, and a whole bunch of lizards did too, because uh, they know that I want all the lizards dead, and all of the, now I'll just say it's flat out, all of the lizard parasited hosts as well. Now I have to put this eloquently because they said that this is the end of the world event. This is the this is the big the big bomb that uh, could send the world into panic and um, loss of order and what the end of the world 2012 and everything is all about. Well, it's about lizards and cloning. And I'll tell you all about it right now. Um, something has to be done. These people are like over corrupt. I don't know if there's a word for it in the English language. They bring people to the cloning station and enslave them and have the option of allowing them to remember the memory. If they leave you un un if they leave you memory repressed, it will give you symptoms in real life and you'll just think that you're sick. You won't know. It depends on what they do to you as a clone. Um, if they're torturing you, you'll get badly sick, uh, you'll get heart damage, like my heart's messed up and I'm only 37, just turned 37, and um, yeah, they strap you to a rack and freaking slice you and everything, and people sit around in a crowd watching you in this big, well not big, it's not, it's a stadium, it, and it has hockey, a hockey boarded ring, but it's smaller than a normal hockey rink, um, and the celebrities, uh, and kings and queens from weird countries are all there sitting in the stands watching this weird faces of death scenario thing. Made people sword fight. They made me sword fight there. I got all chopped up as a clone. And the thing is, they can have multiple clones of you, right? Now, they got chips in these clones too. So they turn you into the next clone, like within a matter of uh, like 30 seconds like deactivate one clone and can go over to this one and click it on and I've experienced it it's uh everything goes black you don't you don't have dreams anymore some of the celebrities make uh, songs I've made songs for them there about not having dreams anymore and your dreams are lost and blah 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 your heart this heart that like I made a lot of songs there um can I ask big Donald how do you know that you're the real you um scars and uh, clones, well, these duplication clones can't walk around in public without what they call a handler. They uh, they have to be babysat so that they don't bite someone on the face or start a fire in a house. Or they're like uh, they they go with the first first impulse. You know what this reminds know. me of? It reminds me of the episode of Family Guy where Stewie clones himself, but he doesn't do he doesn't do the cloning job right, and he and he creates what's known as Bitch Stewie, who's really retarded kind of thing. Is that is that sort of what we're talking uh, about here? It could be. They make that cartoon. They make The Simpsons. They make all the movies and stuff. They made the Avatar movie. Um, they make they own Hollywood, right? So, and they get their ideas. They all discuss stuff at the cloning station, like all night. It gets pretty boring there, because first once they do the sex, 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 sex. And then they do death stuff to themselves because they can turn – somehow they have, they have the tech to make the clone not feel any pain at all. They said it's something to do with uh, how, uh, how a person becomes a quadriplegic. Uh, just the first second before they're a quadriplegic, they can't feel any pain, stab them in the thigh or anything, just like a quadriplegic can. Well, but they can still move around and stuff. They've done it to me. It feels weird. Like they let me stab myself in the forearm and go, yik, 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 yik right up the arm and didn't feel anything and 
it's bleeding and stuff. It's pretty gross and all kinds of stuff there. There's there's nothing to do there though once you do all the stuff and the novelty wears off. But uh, then you're not allowed to leave. And if you want to leave, uh, well, they only keep you if you're used for something. Well, good looking for sex or something or have some kind of talent or something. And if you try to talk, you say, oh, they're take. They say people that think they're in the fifth dimension or the astral plane or something, they'll go to the police and say, oh, they're some the world leaders are taking me to the fifth dimension or the astral plane and victimizing me, torturing me, like Chris Benoit as well. They killed him. Uh, well, he killed himself. But the thing was, they were torturing the hell out of him. Like uh, Insane Clown Posse made, had a song made about him, and I actually did the lyrics for the song. Um, they made me do it because I didn't want to because I liked Chris, Chris Benoit. The thing was, they had his wife and his kid there, and they started hurting them too. And they were home throwing up and stuff, and he was trying to go to the police, and they they wouldn't... Uh, are you going to commercial again? Today? Yeah, we are. We are. Um, we've still got another uh, thirty seconds or so, or so to uh, wrap up your point, if you want. Yeah, he they uh, he tried to go to the cops. They sent him to the mental institution, and kind of like Tila said, he said uh, Queen Elizabeth is blasting me into another dimension, and she's torturing me there and forcing me to have sex with her and stuff. He he said this to his therapist. This is like public knowledge now, though, and. Uh, he was like, oh, yeah, here, take these pills. And he's like, no, really, they're taking me to some place when I sleep. It's like, it's bad, man. You know, it sounds sort of like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. They get you while you sleep. Well, there's something they're like that I want to tell you about. That's, that's we'll be right back. Lizard to do with it. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, in just a few minutes with Donald Marshall. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to hour number two of the fastest two hours in talk radio. It's the Vinnie Eastwood Show, broadcasting live five days a week on AmericanFreedomRadio.com from the fabulously fluoridated capital of Auckland, New Zealand, the island chained nation in the sunny slave South Pacific. It's borderlining on Fukushima radiation down here, but it's good for the economy because everybody's got a part-time job as an incandescent light bulb. My very special guest is donald marshall for the remainder of this hour donald welcome back you're going to talk to us about the the reptiles and and, and speaking of which the reptilian conspiracy this is the conspiracy that is used to demonize anybody like, i remember i was talking to a bunch of communists right about the two types of fluoride you know calcium fluoride which actually is natural and not that bad for your teeth and uh, and sodium fluoride which is unnatural and comes from the phosphate fertilizer industry and then straight off the bat they said oh you're going to be talking about shape-shifting reptiles next well they're not shape-shifting the thing is i'm going to tell you what the shape shift is and it's really creepy and this is the thing that they said that could wipe the world people panicking with the riots and stuff because the cloning thing people cloning people's kids messing up messing them up in the brain is bad enough uh remotely killing people who they don't like which might happen to me you never know um thing is uh the lizards okay lizards been around a long time like since before ancient egypt and everything and the uh the symbol you know that eye the eye of horus with the squiggly hanging out of it yeah. That has to do with lizards. It has. It's a lizard symbol. It means two things. It's a pro lizard symbol, and it also means beware. There's lizards here. Okay. There's three different kinds of lizards. I'll tell you all about them. They're called vril. The thing is, I'm not sure if it's one L or two at the end. It's vril. V R I L L or V R I L. Uh, Germans were into them. They had a club with vril things. Anyway, there's a there's like a one to one and a half foot tall one. That's the real type one. Um, it's got scales, red scales. Uh, there's a type two that that is not parasitic, but it's still vicious, nasty, carnivorous. They're all carnivorous. And there's a type three that's eight feet tall that uh, has a real long neck and looks like a gray, gray alien, but it comes from deep, deep, deep underground. Like like I mean like be below deep base deep, like. Uh, they need a, a methane oxygen mix to breathe and deep underground they got sulfur pools I guess that make this stuff anyway they come up underneath the dumb bases the the government is complicit with them basically now now I have to tell you about the parasitic aspect of the lizards and why the Illuminati and the governments use them okay I'm saying this in a nutshell because it's very important I want to get it all out on your show uh, nobody's going to say this for fear of clone torture, remote controlled death, or death by lizards a thousand times until you die by a heart attack or something. 
Um, but I figure I, I have to tell people because, well, they're getting me there anyway. Like, uh, they eased up lately asking me not to talk about it anymore, but, uh, I'm just going to, uh, well, the lizards have a thing. Okay. They have what's called a proboscis. There's lizards out there today that have a proboscis on their face. Okay. These things got it in the middle of their head. Okay. And on the top of their head, this is the real type one and two, one and two, the, the type two have a proboscis sheath that comes out. It sticks out. Um, the type ones, for instance, it's like a micro or uh, a chocolate chip. It looks like basically the tip of it. Now, at one point in these things lives because they have a long lifespan, the lizard species, one point in their life, uh, they can slowly wiggle this thing out, eject it, and it goes into somebody's eyeball. OK, another animal now it wiggles in by the sense of taste. They described this to me so like when I was like 18 years old there and told me about it different times throughout the years of going there. They, they can bring you there every single night if they want to. And they did bring me there every night. They laughed at me when I said I was going to tell the world about this. They said, nobody's ever going to believe me. You won't put it together in a eloquent way. To, people will think that technology isn't that uh, advanced yet with cloning because they just clone the sheep, right? No, um, they've been cloning people a long time this way. Uh, thing is, the lizard, okay, the thing squiggles in through the eye. It uh, does a spiral around the optic nerve all the way to a certain point, and it's driven there by taste. And they, they said once it gets there, it has the taste of uh, butterscotch, and then it does a feeling like uh, holding your breath and going, pushing outwards. And at the tip of this chocolate chip, it then starts what they call sweating the quill. Now, the spinal cord stuff comes out of the spinal cord out of the chocolate chip thingy and it's everything that the lizard is the lizard's old body is dead the little lizard thing is dead uh and it can't go back in can't get it back in it's one way uh once it sh excretes this stuff sweats this quill thing um the person's debilitated for an unknown amount of time i don't know how long but when they come back they have to have some recovery time but when they come back, they are not the person anymore. They are then the lizard. Let me put this to you flatly. The, the old person's consciousness is gone. The body is absolutely, totally dominated. And the lizard is smarter as a human then and totally controls everything. Over time, it'll develop a rash. It'll, it'll lose its hair. Um, thing is, these things are all over the place. And they mimic human behavior. In, in fact, one of their names in the past is mimic. Um, well, it's interesting. Some of their names. Um, when we look at, um, say, psychopathy, uh, for example, the psychopathic mentality, psychopaths learn very early on in life to mimic proper human behavior because they know that they're very different from other people and they learn how to mimic emotions and, th and things like that. So it's a similar type of thing, well, isn't it? A lot of the people that you hear about in the news that are getting people and chopping them up in the basement and eating them and stuff, frying them up, these are what they call drones. They're parasited hosts of the lizards. They like to make them. Um, the only thing a drone wants to do is make more, have sex, and torture someone. Like uh, it's, it's a different kind of mentality. It's hard to explain. Um, when, they, when they, at the cloning station, when they victimize someone, uh, it gives them a, a powerful feeling, and it's the nerdy way, you know, that, that nerdy aspect of it, uh, oh, I've got something over someone. Uh, but they do that to the extreme. Oh, and alien abductions. Let me tell you something. They videotape alien, alien abductions. They set up alien abductions with Hollywood makeup and stuff. Like, not all of them. I can't say all of them. Some of them might be real for all I know. But I've seen the set. It's a really crappy looking saucer. You just walk up a ramp into it. They never see the outside of it. But uh, they clone people, right? And then activate them when they're on the slab strapped down. Now someone goes in with a, a, a gray mask with, and the mask is made of chicken skin, okay? Just to give it that aspect of realism, um, dyed gray chicken skin so it'll look real and does it look real. Stretched over a mask, right? And they have the mask on. They go in and have sex with the people. Um, 
and they videotape it and the people's faces to see their reactions and stuff. Uh, it's the government and celebrities doing this to people because I'll tell you why, how the celebrities got into it. Back in the past, it was a political thing. They bring all the leaders of the, of the countries in together and they can all chat about stuff and enjoy this, uh, you know, sacrilegious uh, forbidden place, this cloning thing and do whatever they can't do in real life. Well, they got real bored with each other because most of them are fat and ugly and bald stuff. So they started bringing celebrities there. This is why JFK died, by the way, and Marilyn Monroe. JFK was going to talk about it, the cloning station. He didn't want to go. She didn't want to go. They had her, they had her there, too. They said, uh, we'll torture you at the cloning station if you uh, talk about it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's like a big thing. That's why he died. Like, um, man. So anyways, uh, it's not the fifth dimension. It's just the cloning station. And cloning station, which you're cloned pre-injected with drugs. Um, yeah, the, the lizard thing. The, they just totally take them over. Um, they, they do it a lot. It used to be, it's a Luciferian thing. Um, they said that these lizards were the sons of Satan or whatever. Lucifer or whatever. Um, they're not, though. They're just a, a species of lizard that survived the extinction of the dinosaurs by being way, way underground. Um, I'll just tell you, I know it sounds retarded. The damn things can talk, okay? Uh, but they don't have a tongue. I'll, I'd, I'd tell you about their mouths. It takes a while. Basically, they have a blood spike, okay? Uh, this is what they call a chupacabra, too. They come up from underground different spots all over the world, right? Like uh, worms out of a rotten apple, different spots, and then they infiltrate the society there. But uh, the drones today have erased, well, of 100 years ago, erased any existence of these real lizards from, like, uh, Egyptian carvings on walls. They would smash them, right? Or books that had anything in them about them, they would burn them because um, drones don't want to get found out and sent off and killed. Like, um, this is what I thought FEMA camps were for, rounding up drones, because they've been talking about it at the cloning center. This is where they discuss all political, worldly affairs. And they let me sit in, fly on the wall, because they figure nobody's going to ever believe me, that they can clone anybody in. Everybody that, uh, there is bored of it, the whole technology. It lost the novelty like 10 years ago, right? So they go there and they talk to Brad Pitt and... Uh, let me tell you, all the celebrities, because they bring them there, and they tell them, look, you're here, you're going to hang with us. If you don't want to, well, if they cry and make a fuss like Lauren Hill from the Fugees, uh, make a song about I Get Out and stuff, they let her not go to the cloning station. They don't activate her, let her have normal dreams. But other people, they really grill them to stay. And uh, they say, if you ever talk about it, you're going to die. They made the, Oh, but the reason Britney Spears went pop, do you want to know right now? Um, well, Britney Spears went whack because she watched too many murder videos at the cloning station. Okay, the cloning station is like a small sports venue, like a dog and pony show, right? Um, it's got the stands seat about 400, 450, but there's different cloning stations in different deep underground bases. But all the celebrities go to an above ground one in a wildlife preserve somewhere, and it's just like an oval sports venue with underground stuff where they grow them and uh, store them on racks five high, like bunk beds five high, stainless steel. So uh, they go there and sit around and do crazy stuff. And they bring me there like they were bringing me there every night. Like, uh, I'll just tell you, it was like a victimization uh, joke. Like, um, they would torture me, basically in many different ways uh, to come up with a song, some kind of a song for someone, some kind of genre of music, anything. For a while there, they wouldn't uh, stab me or anything. Well, in the clone, like I don't have scars on me. It's on on the clones at, at this place, but they usually scrap the body same night anyway because it's so stabbed up. Uh, I've been through a lot there, but and that's an, another reason why I want to expose these things. Oh, and also how the lizards kill people, right? I've witnessed the, the, the head wiggy thing go into the eye. They showed me. Um, the thing is, the Illuminati are basically using me, okay, to expose these lizards in an eloquent way because none of them want to be the first person out so that they'll die. Like Bernie Mac was, he tried to start a mutiny there. 
saying, we can't have this. We all got to shut this place down. This place, this place is the devil, he said. And they tortured the shit out of him for uh, you can't You can't swear on uh, FCC regulated radio, by the way. Okay. Well, I thought maybe <laughs> you could bleep that out or something. Nope. No time to play on this, eh? No. Oh. Yeah. Well, Nelly Furtado made a song about that anyway. Uh, bleep on the radio. So she says it on the radio. So, you know, I figured it was loud. Oh, anyway, these. so back to the lizards. The three different kinds. The third kind is the smartest, the biggest and the strongest and everything. And they pretty much lord over the other two. Uh, there's different regions, though. Uh, they cannibalize on each other underground. Anyway, Queen Elizabeth is really in with these things, okay? Her family has been for a long time. Now, these bloodlines, all that they are are super inbred people, okay? What The edicts of uh, Lucifer, like uh, my family are down with this stuff. That's why I don't talk to them anymore. Uh, inbreeding makes you makes you strong. Um, pedophilia keeps you young, and uh, helping lizards gives you good luck or something from the devil and stuff. They used to do this thing: kill your firstborn son, it gives you fortune in life or something. And uh, it's pretty sick. So, anyways, um, yeah, all that stuff is you know not true, and they know it. They just keep it going for like some stupid club, like a. Like the Devil Club, who we're cool, we're evil. Uh, it's just there are a bunch of, basically, it's a bunch of really rich, fat, old people. They can't get laid, so they enslave people there to perv on them, right? Drug them, make them compliant through fear or drugs, and uh, use them because they'd have a hard time even paying a prostitute, really. Like you ever see Kissinger? <laughs> As Kissinger said. Power is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Yeah, he's there. Um, met him as clones. I met a bunch of them as clones. They all wanted to meet the guy that made all these songs, and I don't even want to talk about the, the songs thing, because some people have said, oh, you just want to be known for making all these songs and stuff, and really, I just want to shut these people down, because everyone else, there's a bunch of celebrities there, and they're scared, like Whitney Houston. They killed Whitney Houston with an aneurysm just recently. Like, uh, And then all the celebrities there, said, okay, we're not going to have any more of us get killed this way. Uh, what happened with her, she wanted to leave show business entirely, didn't want to sing anymore, no concerts, didn't want to be on TV, and didn't want to attend the cloning station to be used as a sex slave. But in the beginning of her career, she basically sold her soul. That's what they all talk about, selling your soul to the Illuminati. You're selling your clone to be used by old freaks um, at the cloning center or for an ass, uh, I mean, aspect slave um yeah they do that you know how they cover up their one eye oh yeah that means that means two things that means watch out you don't get the lizard to stick the thing in the eye or like uh well it means a couple different things to different people it means like uh don't um you only half see things, and I always figured it was the lizard in the eye thing because I get seen, introduced. I've seen so many artists uh, in pictures of them doing the uh, the triangle around the eye um, sort of thing. Oh, yeah. where you do your, your thumbs and your, and your index fingers together, and uh, just look through and put the put your hands together and just look through them like that, and your other fingers well, sort if, of look like sun rays com coming out sort of thing. I've seen so many artists yep. do that. Well, the thing with the pyramid in the eye thing is the whole symbol is a joke it's uh once you know what the pyramid is for then you you know when you're pretty much illuminati but i'm going to break that whole thing right now i'm going to ruin it um you got to look on my page and look at the schematics for the pyramid i explain what it's for um it was basically a vril trap it's a giant cockroach trap for vrils okay these little vents that went in they were at an angle. They were lined with uh, smooth limestone. And uh, anything that went in didn't come out because these crab nasties claws, well, that's why I call them crab nasties, the vrils. I've been calling them that my whole life. Um, they couldn't scramble back up and out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll actually um, hold that thought, hold that thought about the crab nasties, and we'll be right back after the break at thevinnieeastwoodshow.com, ladies and gentlemen, with Donald Marshall. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Vinny Eastwood Show, broadcasting live from the Chateau de Rothschild on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. 
We're talking about organized crime today. Indeed, the crime, the very nasty, particular scumbaggery element of human cloning with my very special guest, Donald Marshall. Welcome back. Okay. So, these people, you heard about the celebrities selling their souls to the place. So that's what they're doing. They're selling themselves to be used as clones at the cloning center. Now, the thing is, after a while, they, they have kids. And they want to bring their kids there, too, to induct them into the family, right? They just want to perv on them. Um, and they're all too scared to say no. And they do bring their kids there and mess them all up to keep them memory repressed and just mess with them. And then they they do all kinds of stuff with uh, te different technologies that they have there. Like, I'm trying to, like, I, I know about a bunch of different technologies they have. And I wanted to tell everyone about it, but... Not enough time on your show to tell about all of it, so I'm trying to tell about the most important things, the cloning lizards. Oh, and the head chips. Uh, I didn't tell you about the head chips, but um, to the Vrills, the three different types, the small ones they use to drone people, uh, to host people, because the proboscis on young lizard uh, type ones, they, uh, they're small enough to go into an eye and not ruin the eye, right? Um, because they're supposed to do this to animals with bigger eyeballs, probably freaking dinosaurs. But, uh, yeah. Um, hey, so speaking of Type 1, um, I've had a request from uh, Sonic, who's a radio show host with a Type 1 radio lounge, and he wants to bring you on his show. Uh, very soon you'd be willing to do that, wouldn't you? Sure. Okay, cool. Well, I've already yeah. shared your contact details. It's sort of, it's sort of a misnomer. But anyway, I'm sorry. Continue. Excellent. So uh, these lizards, it squiggles in, the thing takes over totally, total domination, right? Old person dies, and uh, it becomes a totally compliant slave, basically. Uh, does whatever the people want it to do, because it's just happy to live life as a human being now, right? It's totally coherent, and uh, it knows that its life is dependent on it, mimicking human behavior, so it does really well. Uh, even with other animals, it, it's smart enough to instinctually mimic the animal's behavior, right? It uh, incorporates that animal's brain to, it, I don't know, it just takes over in the worst way. It's a parasitic lizard. It's nasty. Now, uh, the head chip thing. Man, I know this is a lot. Like, I had to explain about all this stuff, my total disclosure and phases, because I didn't want to lump it all out in one t at one time for people, because it's way... Well, you're afraid they'd think you were crazy? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter, man. I mean, like, it, it, as, um, as far as most people are concerned, you know, as soon as you opened your mouth, it's, it, it's insanity. Whereas I don't like to judge people like that after the first word that they say. I like to hear them yeah. out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay, a bunch of billionaires were scared about dying they said they were uh, they were so rich they can make people die they can start wars uh, they can do anything in the material world but once they die they can't even take it with them they're just dead right so a bunch of billionaires got together and said we don't want to die we want to figure out how to live again as clones right um, thing is they the clone is just like a negative copy of the person though so it's not even like the person living it's a it's a flawed copy. Like a ghost. So the thing is, what they do, they devised a way. I don't know how. The thing used to be as big as a, a circuit board, like a like that was not an Illuminati symbol, by the way. It's like a about the size okay. of a fist, right? Yeah, they uh, they tested this on a Chinese farmer. They showed me the the video clips. Um, had it sticking out the guy's head and everything. Didn't compensate him. Just sent him back home. And said they had to do something to him. Um, they whittled it down so, so that the microchip is supposedly the size of like a, just a bit bigger than an apple seed, right? And it can, it can totally, and it's, it's a flawed copy as well, but not as flawed. It can totally hold your, uh, your mental stuff, right? Everything that you are basically, but they need babysitters because they go pretty whack. Sometimes they're missing some stuff. It's flawed. But the thing is, just like those lizards do with the eyeball thing and squiggling into the head, rich people can put their stuff on a microchip and set this into somebody's head and basically body snatch them that way as well. And they keep it secret because, of course, you know, everyone – oh, they can do it to clones too, but there's more side effects if you put it into a clone's brain. Um, so – 
they basically body snatch people with chips in the head. And the uh, the lizard thing, I they tried to convince me that and others that uh, it was a worldwide takeover thing that they had already taken over so much that. Uh, all was lost, you better just go along with it, but that's not true. They're a very, very small part of the population, like under 5% or something. But uh, they bring, they, they drone people like beautiful women and then have the drones marry these men, that whoever wants this woman. And they don't care that it's a lizard consciousness. Uh, they just do it. And it's still murdering the other person though, but, and it's pretty sick. So I had to tell the world, and, uh, yeah, I'm expecting to, uh, be killed, really. Um, well, hold on. Uh, can I, can I just um, get clarification on something? Because you said, um, that they can't kill you or they won't kill you or something like that before, yeah, okay. but now you're saying they probably will. I don't, I don't, I don't see the, the connection. Okay. I'll get to that part. That's the part that even with the crazy sounding stuff that I've told you already, this is another crazy aspect of it. Okay, uh, the thing is, with all the songs that I made at this place, and they were bringing me back every single night and saying, sing a song, or we're going to torture you. Next night, sing a song, we're going to torture you. Sometimes I couldn't think of anything, and they would just, like, stab me and watch me bleed there, and now they're all watching like it's a bizarre faces of death thing. And uh, different people want to know what it's like to stab someone, so they send them out to stab me while I'm on drugs so I won't hit them or something. It's like that. It's pretty sick. And, uh, well... I have to tell you, Queen Elizabeth is there, uh, Stephen Harper, Canadian Prime Minister, uh, Obama is there, Vladimir Putin is there, the Pope is even there, all kinds of heads of different factions of different things, uh, the head of the Mexican drug cartel is there, uh, mafia in Italy is there, man, everybody is there, it's like the rich guy's crazy club that will never get caught, and uh, you have to be real privileged to go there, well, I don't want to go there, and uh, I'm not privileged there. I'm pretty low on the totem pole there, actually, probably the lowest. So uh, anyway, they all they all threatened me never to talk about it, and along as I've been divulging this stuff on Facebook, um, they've been bringing me there and threatening me and stuff, and then asking me not to mention them specifically what they've done there and stuff, and uh, panicking really. And, uh, trying to deter me with uh, stabbing my clones there, burn, burning the clones and everything. And I'm telling you, it's like real. It's clear as day. It's not like having a dream unless they drug you. If you're there, you're totally co coherent, and you can't pinch yourself and wake up or slap yourself, or, or people would. And I don't know of a way to block this uh, consciousness transfer to the clones. Otherwise, I would, like being in a tinfoil room or something. I don't, I don't know if there is a way to block it up. If there is, they haven't told me. Um, but anyway, they're all there. And since I was a kid, they, well, after I started making songs when I was about five, by the time I was hitting about eight years old, they were saying, uh, I don't even want to say because it's over the top ridiculous. And I don't want to even endorse this uh, stuff that they say. But they said it was possible that I could be um, the comeback messiah for the end times to save the world. And I said, no, that's not true. I'm just a guy that's going to expose your lizards and your cloning, and you guys aren't going to bring me here anymore. And they well, I got all the info when they thought that I was absolutely loyal to them, okay? For years, I acted loyal to them. I even had to almost give myself Stockholm Syndrome to make myself believe that I liked them because my family members were there. So, I, like, my mother was there even. So, uh, and they can give you sodium pentothal truth serum to see into your clone, to see if you will talk about them, if you're unmemory repressed or unrepressed memory, and you'll be able to remember all your, the clone stuff. But once you're unrepressed memory, you always remember everything. They can't keep your memory away from you then when they bring you there. So they only unrepress people that are real ironclad loyal. Uh, it also makes you uh, smarter as a clone when you are unrepressed memory. So they wanted me to be on repressed memory so I could think up better lyrics for songs because they've uh, given me adrenaline injections there. Like I've never had that in real life, but they feel really good there, adrenaline injections. And uh, 
I've never done cocaine in real life, but they made me do cocaine there so I could do uh, speed rappy stuff because uh, like like Buster Ryan type of stuff. Um, so you can't do that like just off the bat, and, but that stuff really speeds you up. It actually gave me my clone a heart attack a couple times. Um, but yeah, they're they're all like we're so powerful, we're not we're going to get caught doing this. No one's ever going to uh, believe anyone. But that's because everyone else only had half of the story. After years of playing friends with them, they told me everything because they wanted to be really cool with me. They wanted me to like them because I made their favorite song, like the Top Gun theme song, made that right when I'm there. And uh, they're all all the politicians want to be cool with me because the celebrities think that I'm amazing and stuff. And they think I'm amazing, too. Right. Coming up with a thong, song out of thin air like that. Uh, and put a bunch of references in songs. Other people have in the past, too. Like back in the 80s, uh, this band called Heart made this song called uh, Dreams. Uh, These dreams go on when I close my eyes type. And uh, it's talking about the cloning station when, when you're a clone there. Um but they tell people that it's the other dimension or astral plane so that if they ever go to the police, they'll say, oh, I'm going to the other dimension. And then that's not true, right? They, well, you want us to police another dimension, right? And, but it's not the other, another dimension or the astral plane. It's just the cloning station, like um, the, the Brownstone, Brown something massacre, Brownsville massacre down in Texas somewhere. Well, that was all about them. Uh, the children of the fold got murdered, a big uh, religious cult. They all got murdered and chopped up. Well, the fold was the cloning station, and they were going there and getting freaked on by a bunch of elderly, uh, rich perverts. Uh, and then they didn't want to anymore. And they said, leave us alone. We have computers. We're going to tell all about the fold. And uh, they went there and killed them all. Um, the Picton stuff was really unsettling or disturbing because... Well, Elizabeth wanted to be real close on hand to me because everybody wanted to look at me, talk to me. And uh, I was like focused on the spotlight there at this place because I did these songs and uh, different money making ideas for different people. So she always wanted to be around me to get in on the spotlight. She's like that. She's like a camera hand for for all the celebrities that are there. So she was always around me. Now, the thing is, she said to strengthen my mind, she wanted me to watch all of the Picton murders and they had a camera in the corner of the room um, where he did these murders. The thing was, he would walk the, the, a woman, the hooker, over to a painting on the wall facing that way and say, uh, do you like this painting? My brother painted it for me. Put his arm around the woman and with his other hand, he'd reach in back of his, of his pants and pull out a ball-peen hammer and smock her in the, right in the back of the head. And that was it. And he might, used to have, almost have to give her like two or three or something and one time one of the hookers got him I'll tell you about that some other time or something but uh he got them all um he said i asked him one time at the cloning station because they would bring him there and ask him what it was like and everything and like he was a celebrity or something it was weird like and uh they're all trying to act evil like they're vampires or something and and he would talk and stuff and i asked him he they asked me if i had any questions for him i said why a ball peen hammer and he said well, normal hammer has a claw on it, carpenter's hammer, and if I had to do a second strike, uh, the claw might get hooked on somebody's clothing, one of the girl's clothing, and it might, when on my drawback, it might hook on, uh, then he's ruined because he was just a skinny old man. And, uh, yeah, but Elizabeth used to make me watch them. They have two big screens at the cloning station over the stands, one on either side, right, so that people can, on in the stands, can look both ways. Well... Uh, a lot of people can't watch them. Um, a lot of people want to act evil so they'll feel safe there because the more evil that you are, the more they're going to leave you alone. So there's people, man, they psych themselves into believing that they're evil too just so that they'll feel safe because they've seen these lizards and, and people getting tortured and killed and they don't want uh, any badness on them. So they try to act even more evil than the other people that are there. But... Uh, yeah, so how does bad. this how does this relate to you being afraid that they're going to kill you, but also saying that they can't? Well, the thing with the can't, they're saying they said that uh, well, a bunch of religious things around the world, including the Vatican, says there. Well, not all of the bishops are there. The the popes like cronies, the popes cronies there. Um, that not all of them are there, but they they said that uh, they think that I'm 
the Knicks comeback um, Messiah guy. <laughs> and I, as I said, I don't endorse these claims. And a bunch of uh, super uh, superstitious, uh, super superstitious people said that if I get killed, that it's going to be in the end of the world. Uh, and they translated that into saying that if I get killed, people are going to know that all the stuff I'm saying is real and they're going to freak out and the world end faster. Um, but just trying to put it forward in a calm, concise way, like they do this lizard thing a lot, like in a lot of different countries. It's not just an isolated thing, and these things walk around all over the place. There is a way to detect them. It's, uh, you have to detect them with a CT scan or an MRI. Okay. See damage behind the eye and damage the frontal lobes of the brain. Well, and, um, uh, when they do CT scans on psychopaths, there's there's virtually zero brain activity kind of thing. Like it's it's all down here at the at the bottom base of the uh, the lower cortex, what they call the reptilian brain. Is that what you're talking about? I I didn't hear that actually. Okay. Well, Never heard of that. All right, we'll talk about this after the break at the Vinnie Eastwood Show dot com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Vinnie Eastwood Show. It's our final segment here with uh, Donald Marshall, and I asked him, you know, is there anything you don't like talking about, or something that scares you that you kind of avoid talking about? And uh, <laughs> he's already said it. <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't know where exactly to uh, to take this from here um, in terms of you being the only person who's really coming out and publicly speaking about um, this phenomenon. Uh, what exactly do you expect people to do? Well, um, they're going to have to do something about it because the the thing is, sometimes these people, they get a pet lizard, one of their very own, like Elizabeth's one is called Matilda, and uh, Kissinger's one is called Herbert, Herbert, right? And... Uh, occasionally get a hold of a real kid and bring it to the cloning station and feed a kid to one of these lizards um it's like alf the the show alf runs around trying to eat cats and stuff everybody thinks it's cute well these things their favorite food is kid human kid because it has less vaccinations in it because some vaccinations after a certain age will if they drain the blood out of a thing uh the real lizard will die from the vaccinations or get real sick or taste bad or something to them. Um, so they get kids, they uh, put them in a pit with this thing sometimes. I've seen it there. Um, they just point out, showed me so much stuff flat out, thinking that I'd never be able to cohesively put it all together to tell people about it in a believable fashion. And that the te technology of doing this is to advance for people to believe. But uh, after seeing all that I've seen, I have to tell as many people as I can because they they kill people with these lizards, and you know I don't I don't want to walk around in a world with those parasited human hosts in it. Uh, the thing is, what people have to do it's going to have to be a military thing. Like the military will have to perform a coup because. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but Obama is down with the vril, okay? Um, Vladimir Putin, he's down with them. They're all scared. Like, uh, the Illuminati thing is a big united thing, but it's united through fear, basically, right? Because if one person comes out and says, oh, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, that person dies real quick. And um, then the other people look and go, ooh, I don't want to be the next one, right? But what they're saying about me uh, with the religious people there. And drones don't want to get X'd out either, so they're really harsh on people that talk about them. So they're, they're saying that I'm the next uh, New Age Jesus there. And I'm not endorsing this in any way, by the way. There's people on the Internet that say this stuff, and they're, they're not. They're just crazy people. Um, and I'm not saying it either, but they all say it, and they said I'm in the Nostradamus Prophecies and picture book. They said there's a picture of me in it. Um and that I'm just going to save the world from something. And I'm just going to inform the world about the parasitical lizards that the government are letting people get droned and uh, sacrificing people to gods they don't even believe in just so it'll be like some dark evil club that they can all belong to, so belong to something, right? And uh, it goes back pretty far. Like, 
long ways. Uh, yeah, it explains on my wall a lot more. Um, I pretty much said just about everything. I mean, uh, I don't know. I was frantic when I wrote my original letter because I didn't know how to, to explain everything. So I just st stuck to the cloning aspect of everything because I figured if I put lizards in it as well, people were going to go, whoa, change the channel. But uh, so I pretty much told everybody in phases just so that uh, people wouldn't have too much to wrap their head around. But it's the most important stuff in the world, like chemtrails and MK Ultra and all that is done by them. And uh, MK Ultra, you need a clone of the person to, to use MK Ultra on someone. Like really quickly, I'll tell you basically an example of MK Ultra on a person. Okay, um, they get a woman, a beautiful woman. This uh, this guy wants this woman, but he's not as good looking as uh, what she usually goes out with. So they clone the woman. And this kid is a rich man's kid. They clone the woman to the cloning station, put her in the center of the dirt ring. This is hockey boards with dirt in the middle. And surround her by a bunch of black girls. It turns out this is her biggest fear. We're getting beat up by a bunch of black people, a bunch of black girls. So the black girls will push her around. Girl, we're going to beat you up. And she's drugged. And anyway, the guy will come out after a little while. She'll be all scared. Guy will come out and say, hey, leave her alone. And he's a clone too. And you'll walk her clone out of the situation. They'll put this girl, when she sleeps, into different situations where she's in a life or death situation and have this guy save her. Anyway, they've never met. Now, in real life, they, they can do this 16 t different times and just corny, straight out nerdy scenarios, they call them scenarios. Uh, next time that that girl sees that guy in real life, from the visual, she will be automatically predisposed to like this guy and think that she would be safe around this guy. And this guy is like a champion or whatever. Depends on whatever they program in. Um, and it's basically that easy. That's programming right there. Um, they can also do it with fear. So that, uh, I don't know, someone will fear someone the same way that they would be attracted, right? Be apprehensive around the person. Um, it's just all kinds of different technologies that they have. And uh, they found some stuff. Uh, I'll tell you, it's it's written on the wall. It was, a, it's, it was an abandoned underground Atlantean base. They used to call themselves the Thule, T-H-U-L-E. Well, they had an abandoned base down there. They found all kinds of stuff, and they back-engineered all kinds of stuff. And uh, uh, the Vril Society from Germany started doing it. And then the Americans took their stuff, and the Russians took some stuff too, and then they all started making stuff. Man, but uh, I know about a lot of the stuff. They told me all about it, and I'm telling the world. But, uh, yeah, it's not good because other people have died. Now, Donald, for, how, uh, how did you actually get involved with this? Because you were telling about how uh, it's like elite families and, and things like that who get involved. How did you get involved? What do you What do your parents do? Well, my parents, my mother was, a, uh, I guess, a sex slave there when she was a little kid, which was a long time ago. And... Um, but they've been doing cloning like this since 1945, first with Mark I clones, then with Mark II clones with less flaws. Now, uh, well, she well, basically... And, and, and tracing, back, how did, how did, tracing back, how did she get into it? Because what I've found with uh, CIA and a lot of other programs is that they, they have these, uh, these bloodlines, these families that go all the way back. So you might not even have anybody who's particularly important today, but way back in the day, they'll have an ancestor who was very important and, and all their family subsequent have been enslaved. Is that kind of what happened? Yeah, it could be something like that. They haven't told me ancestry or anything, but uh, the sex slaves they bring there, they call that Project Muffin. Like you hear about Project Bluebeam and stuff. Well, their sex clone sex slave thing is called Project Muffin. <laughs> so I don't know why. And anyway, uh, yeah, they. Um, my mother was there, brought her in as a sex slave, basically, and she basically gave permission, like other families do, to let them use me. But that was the reason I was there solely to be used as like a molestation victim. But uh, then I started busting out with these songs, and uh, they just let me do the songs and different uh, ideas for movies, catch lines in movies and stuff like that, and uh, toy ideas and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I made a lot of good ideas, so they kept on bringing me back and bringing me back, and I'd come up with more ideas, 
to keep them from bothering me, but little did I know, I was uh, sealing my doom with them, really. Like, because then they started bringing me there every single night, and all these people wanted to meet me after I made a certain amount of songs. They all thought that I had some kind of, like, super talents to them. All the richest people around, music producers and stuff, all went there wanting songs from me, too. It's free free songs. I guess somebody gets paid, not me, though. I've, but, I've uh, said... I've said for a long time that there's no creativity left in Hollywood, really. All they do is just steal other people's ideas. Yeah, well, they do that a lot, not even just with uh, Hollywood. They clone people and uh, get their passwords and stuff um, and their business ideas under torture. And the, ne the person the next day won't remember what happened at all, just will think they didn't have a dream last night and they feel sick the next day. They have no uh, recall of it all, at all unless they want them to. And... Uh, yeah, but I'm telling all about it. Like some some of the things I've seen done there, man. Wow. Oh, and at the Picton farm, he didn't feed all the the, the hookers to the pigs. Some uh, high profile RCMP, Canadian Royal Mount Canadian Mounted Police, and uh, judges and doctors and everything. Some of them are Luciferians, and they wanted to know what human tasted like, so they went to Picton's farm and uh, had a bite to eat and barbecue out in the uh, the big warehouse pig farm thing, just barbecue right out in the middle and fried up a couple hookers. And um, one of the choicest parts, I guess. And, yeah, they ate some of them. They got rid of that house real quick. Like, it's too bad they didn't. They would have seen the screw holes in the corner of the room, the kill room. Man, it's bad. One of his things after he, he would... Uh, well, I know that the cloning center that I go to, the one above ground for the richy rich people. They like the above ground ones because the underground dumps smell like hospital, right? Uh, the cloning center is within five hours drive by car uh, in a radius around the Picton farm because they would speed drive these murder videos to from the Picton farm to the cloning station to be watched by everyone at this cloning station. And uh, I remember being there and waiting because they said bring another video from the farm and uh, I timed it, and uh, I even asked them what time it was, like, kept on asking what time it was, because they thought that's what I was doing, like, guesstimating the distance. But uh, in a radius of five hours around the Picton Farm is where it is, so uh, there's a lot of land in that, though, but it's most likely in a nature preserve, because all that's around this stadium thing is trees. There's no smoke on the horizon even, no uh, air traffic, no nothing, so... Pretty, I pretty much uh, think it's probably a nature preserve. Somewhere in Canada, anyway, the, the, the vending machines at the place take a Canadian change. So, Okay. Well, let's leave it there, because unfortunately we've run out of time. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. if you wish to uh, hear more from Donald Marshall and have a look at his post, facebook.com forward slash donald.marshall.148. That's donald.marshall.148 and vrilllizards.webs.com. Thanks, Donald. We'll see you again sometime, yep. folks. Thank you.